The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, formerly known as the Millennium Dam and sometimes referred to as the Haidas Dam, is wrapping up construction. The dam is under construction in the Binishangul Gamuz region of Ethiopia on the Blue Nile River, located about 40 kilometers east of Sudan, and is owned by Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation. Construction of the dam started in April 2011, after the $4.7 billion engineering, procurement and construction contract was awarded to Selini Costratori, a construction engineering company. The project is being funded by the people and government of Ethiopia, which will serve not only Ethiopia, but Sudan and Egypt as well. Both Egypt and Sudan depend on the Nile River, which runs through the dam for their water. Though 85% of the river flows in Ethiopia, the dam is expected to create more than 12,000 jobs for those in the area, and around 20,000 people will be resettled during the course of the project. The dam's construction is focused primarily on generating power, with an expected capacity of 6,000 MW. At the same time, the primary and saddle dams will also create reservoirs with an impounding capacity of 74 billion cubic meters. Economic growth in Ethiopia has been staggered due to a lack of electricity. Industry margins are hollowed out thanks to the daily unpredictable power cuts. The dam hopes to provide much needed power to the region, ultimately expediting the economy's growth. With the massive planned installed capacity of 5.15 gigawatts, the dam will be the largest hydroelectric power plant in all of Africa when completed, and one of 20 largest plans in the world. It is anticipated that around 5,700 foreign companies will draw on power created by the Renaissance Dam, many of which are in a burgeoning industrial corridor. There is also a $5 billion airport in the middle of construction between the two cities, which is already connected by a new six-lane expressway and electric rail line. Following the dam's completion, it will be capable of handling a flood of 19,370 cubic meters per second and facilitating irrigation of around 500,000 HA of new agricultural land in the process. It will also reduce approximately 40 kilometers of flooding in Sudan. The dam will regulate water flow, which will be beneficial for the region. It will improve agriculture, and the amount of evaporation of water from the dam will be significantly reduced compared to other dams in Ethiopia, which will help with water conservation. Water evaporation in the area has caused some concern in the past, as evaporation from Aswan High Dam and other dams in Ethiopia equate to around 19 billion cubic meters. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will reduce the Aswan High Dam's capacity, saving about 6 billion cubic meters of water. On top of providing more power and mitigating problems with evaporation, the dam will act as a bridge across the Blue Nile, which currently only has a small number of bridges and few pedestrian bridges. The construction site for the dam was identified when the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation conducted its first survey of the Blue Nile River between 1956 to 1964. In October 2009, and between July to August 2010, two site surveys were also carried out, and the final design was submitted in November 2010. The government of Ethiopia kept the project a secret, holding off on the project's design phase until one month before the laying of the foundation stone for the dam. To maintain the secret, the project's planning phase was carried out under the name Project X, which was later changed to Millennium Dam, and finally to the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Both the reservoir and dam will provide numerous significant benefits to Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan. For some time, Egypt has held the majority of ownership of the water from the Nile River, as the country depends on the river for 90% of its water needs, which prevents Ethiopia from constructing a dam. However, in January 2010, a tripartite committee was created to promote understanding and look into the benefits and impacts the project would have on the three countries. Located on Ethiopia's stretch of the Nile, the immense bridge promises to put the country on a course to industrialization that could alleviate poverty for tens of millions. At the end of the bridge, in Egypt, where the Nile meets the sea, the giant dam is potentially holding back nearly all of the country's water sources. Over 90% of the water that goes into Egypt originates in Ethiopia's highlands, as fast-moving waterfalls flow into the river that trails alongside the canyon. 
The two countries, as well as Sudan, depend heavily on Nile water from Ethiopia. This has caused a nationalistic debate between both Ethiopia and Egypt. Ethiopians view the dam as an energy source that could provide power to more than half of Ethiopians who don't have access at home. In contrast, Egyptians view it as their fate potentially falling into foreign hands. The dam looks to solve a significant issue within the area climate change-induced water shortages. Around 95% of Egyptians live along the Nile or in its delta. The Nile begins to fan out into a giant delta at the megalopolis of Cairo, where in the past this was a fertile region, water has become sparse after years of mismanagement and the population increase. The dam looks to solve that issue by providing more irrigated water and power to the region. Let's go over the specs of this impressive dam. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a 1.1 mile long concrete behemoth poised to become the largest hydropower plant in Africa. The dam spans the Nile's mightiest tributary, known as the Blue Nile, or Abe, to the locals. Once the dam is complete, it will be the 10th largest in the world and have 13 turbines that could produce 5 gigawatts of electricity, two and a half times more than what is produced by the Hoover Dam. The Nile River will flow over the dam and into Sudan's plains, providing just about all the irrigation water and more than half of the country's electricity. Water will originate from Sudan's capital, Khartoum, before making its way to Egypt and passing through Egypt's own enormous dam at Aswan, which is only half as powerful as the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The water will then nourish 800 miles of densely populated farmland with numerous large market towns surrounding them. The dam the dam will be a roller compacted concrete gravity type comprising of a saddle dam, two power stations, and three spillways. Once the project is completed, the main dam will be 145 meters high and 1,780 meters long. Gated spillways will be fitted with six radial gates on the left side of the main dam. Each gate will have the capacity to discharge 2,450 meters cubed of water at probable maximum flood occurrence. On the 20th of February 2022, the dam produced electricity for the first time, delivering it to the grid at a rate of 375 MW, while the second 375 MW turbine was commissioned in August 2022. Hope you'd enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified when we release more videos on the world's most impressive mega projects, subscribe and hit the notification icon. Thanks for watching. Until next time.